There we go. All right. Let's hope this is picking up everything. Turn that up a little bit. See if that does anything. Probably not. Okay. Hi. Hello. And welcome back to my channel. Every time I set this up, I realize how just chaotic this background gets and it looks like somebody's locked me in their attic. I promise it's only me who's locked me in my own attic. Hello and welcome back to the Plies and Hellhounds channel. We are a crafty puppy interrupted channel coming to you from Central Connecticut. I'm your human host Gabby. You can find me everywhere online as Gabigales and on my hand eyed yarn at Plies and Hellhounds and PliesandHellhounds.com. It is May. I do have two very sleepy, anxious puppies with me because it is nice out, but it is windy and I have the windows open to air the house out and they hate the wind. So here we are. And I got a rug, by got a rug. I mean, I found a rug at my parents' house. So hopefully the echo is not as bad in here as it usually is. But yes, welcome. This is the April recap of what I have been crafting. April got away from me. I was extremely busy with work, so I just did not have the energy or brain space to sit down and record anything. I had a lot of great ideas and they all sat there in the idea book and they are still there today. But we are back with a crafting update. It is me made May. I am wearing my Le Souffle top and a self-drafted pleated skirt. My nails are atrocious, but my nail tech has been out of town. My nail tech is my husband. So let's just, let's get into it. Let's grab, grab a cup of something and let's talk crafting. You guys feel better on the rug? Yeah. You like it? I know. I just got a lot of bins everywhere right now. I gotta put, I gotta put stuff away. So yeah, I have some finished objects, I have some works in progress, I have some things that I have acquired between Connecticut Sheep and Wool, Yarn Centric, and a sneaky little pattern sale at Joanne Fabrics. So let's just get into some finished objects. I have three. I have three of them. Starting off with whatever's on top of the pile. I have participated in the 24 Birds Mystery Knit Along by Helen Stewart of Curious Handmade. I knit the um, full pie version of the shawl in the colors Yali, Teresque, Fenrir, and Namazu, and she is done and blocked. I have to back up for this, so look at her. She is magnificent. I'm obsessed. I love her so much. I just want to like wear her like a cape around the house. Ah, what I want to do is this. Hold on. Just like attach her like this and then just wear her around like a little sh cape. That's all I want to do. I don't, I didn't even want like a, I don't want to pin it here because then it's going to fall. I want it to like attach to itself in the back like a cape. I love her so much. She's so good. She's been living on my mirror like it, it's haunted. So here are the colors up close. So Yali is the middle, Teresque is the blue, Fenrir is this brown, and then Namazu is this gray. And they are all part of the folklore club that I did last year. All on the Lucent base, which is a superwash BFL silken cashmere fingering weight. I love it. I had so much fun knitting this. It felt like nostalgic knitting. Like I'm doing a giant lace shawl. I'm doing a mystery knit along. And it's Helen Stewart. Like it was everything from like ye early days of like when I started making videos and whatnot. So it was just like a big, a big old nostalgia hug. Ugh, I love it. I love it so much. I did, I finished it in time for Yarn Centric, but it was still wet when I left, so I could not bring it with me. I love it. I think if I were to style it in like a shawl shawl, I would do. There we go. Look at this. Oh, nice and cozy. Very, very nice. I think she has released the like 12 birds version where it's um, a half pie. 
you know I love a pie shawl. I've only knit three, but I, I enjoy every single one of them so much. I also really love a half pie shawl. That is probably one of my favorite shapes. So yeah, I have, I love it. I'm so glad that I finished when I did. I knew if I let this languish, I would never finish it. And then I would be perpetually sad about it. So here we are. The bags have to go in my suitcase. I haven't unpacked yet from Yad Centric. Sorry, my nail is also just like chipping everywhere. So yeah, finished object number one. <laughs> you know, your life is so hard, Audrey. <laughs> She's done. She's beautiful. I love her. Finished object number two. This has been on my needles for like two years and I feel really bad. I um signed up to test knit these. So the pattern is good. These are the Ananas socks, Anana socks by Bailey Jacobs in the 52 weeks of socks by Lane. I, this, this was me. I accidentally switched the main color and the contrast color between the two socks. So, but you know, they're cousins, not sisters. I knit this on my Iron Tweed base, which is a BFL tweed in the Rexeria colorway. And then I think this is, it's leather bound. And I think it's on my Penny base, which I no longer carry. So they are done. They're on my sp spooky sock blockers. Oh, I love, I haven't worn them yet. They've just been hanging on my wall, but I'm very excited to wear these. They were so much fun to knit. I just, it was just one of those things. I knit the first one, I cast on the second one, and then um, it was probably last year times. Was it last year times or the year before? It had to be last year times. I don't remember. I, I don't know. I just, I put them down and I didn't pick them up again until uh, like last month, this last month. So I knit these in like the second sock in like three days. I don't know why it took me so long to finish it, but it's done and they're blocked and they've been shown here. So now I can put them in my sock chest. I'm so excited for these. I'm so excited to wear these. I need to go through all my socks. I have some real old ones that have seen some better days. So gotta go through them. All right, I do have to take this off because it is boiling up here third finished object I'm also going to be sweating in. I finished my Brienne cardigan by Brienne Moody in the Neons and Neutrals book. This I wanted to get done for Yarn Centric since Amy of La Bienname was there to, she did a talk Thursday night and like a little meet and greet and we got to hang out some more. She's adorable and I love her and like she's one of the like I'm really glad that like I've gotten to know her over the last like five, seven years. So I did the Brienne cardigan in my Traveler's Worsted in the colorway Book Cart, Ephemera, and um, Previous Yarn Engagement, which is this mauve one. And I finished it. I did the size two. It was 90 degrees when the Yarn Centric was happening. So I did not wear it, but it is a little chillier today wind the wind blows so there she is oh I love it I love it so much I can't wait to wear her all the time I did remember why I never knit cardigans and it's um button bands button bands are the bane of my existence I love things with long stitch counts but I hate knitting on things with long stitch counts yes I did the pattern calls for one contrast color but I just did these little details of like sneaking in the previous yarn engagement or like alternating and I did the same thing on the back did I I think I did the same thing on the back I might not have that might be a total lie I don't remember I can't see that far but yeah and it's got pockets decent sized pockets like that's my whole hand worsted weight knits go by so quickly it is a cup and it's got this double cuff detail which I didn't I don't know why but I'm obsessed with it it just looks so cute come on so those are my finished objects it feels really good to be getting stuff off the needles I am extremely motivated to work on some old whips um like my folklore cardigan I am very like 
I want to, I want to get going on that again. I know I'm pretty close to the armholes on the back and I like the fronts are going to fly off the needles. Yeah. I just, I also really want to cast on a bunch of stuff. So I think this week, I am technically on vacation this week after Yarn Centric in Connecticut Cheap and Wool. I'm going to sit down and go through everything and like make a game plan and make sure everything's got the notion pouches and the needles and whatnot in there so I can really just like start banging these projects out and like have a, a clean slate this year. Okay. Moving on to whips. I only have three. I haven't, outside of finishing a bunch of stuff, I haven't worked on that much. And I've only picked these three up since finishing all three of those. So first off, I just um, bound off the sleeves on this one. This is my Farm Tours by Samantha Guerin Designs. She is a Farm Tours shrug at this point. I have done the sleeves. I'm knitting a size two. And I just still don't like have the attention span or the concentration to work on like heavily thought things. Yet recently, I don't know, I'm still like struggling with that. So I decided to, I made it past the armholes and then I figured I'll knit the sleeves on this. That way when I'm done with the body, I'm done with the sweater Well, after the neckline and stuff. So I have done the sleeves. They're holding the yarn balls. So that's why they're a little chonky. And there's uh, a plain stockinette sleeve with a one by one rib sewn bind off amazing and yeah i just i'm obsessed with this yarn it's um 100 romney from the floor and fauna farm i got it at rhinebeck this past year it is just like that scrumptious woolly wool just just i can't wait to wear it i'm hoping i can finish it while it's still like cool enough in the morning to do my farm chores which is going to be gardening or throwing frisbees outside for certain dogs who want to play frisbee at six o'clock in the morning. Nam. Ugh, yes, it's a DK weight. I don't know if I said that. Just, I'm obsessed with it. I'm obsessed with it. It's just, I can't, I haven't like gotten in the groove of doing a, the cables nonstop yet. So I'm working on that, but I'm very excited to get into this. I have to cake up some more yarn for it. I'm so excited for it. I'm just, I'm so excited to get back into it. Speaking of um, hating button bands, I have also gotten a lot of work done on my Elton Cardigan by Hohi Locatelli. I brought this down to Yarn Centric with me. So, uh, Wall House, I got a lot of knitting done. It was, it was lovely. It was a very rainy weekend, so we, um, we didn't stay at Maryland Sheep and Wool for as long as Jake and I did last year but we still had fun we got pho and watched movies oh it was so good so i am on the left this looks like a mess i am on the left front of the cardigan right now so i have uh i finished the back i've done the right side i'm knitting this out of lobby anime's nouveau sport weight which is 100 percent super wash merino and her little kuma which is her surrey alpaca blend i think the tags are downstairs i'm knitting the size four so it is going to be a little bit oversized but is that not what a big black cardigan is for i'm so excited for this i'm almost at the part where i can like join the arms and just sort of knit back and forth back and forth so that is kind of my goal for this vacation is to get to that point. That way, this is something I can work on in the dye studio because it'll be super easy to just pick up and knit and not have to think about anything. Oh, I'm so excited for this. It's so nice. It attracts dog hair like nobody's end, as you can see, but I don't care. My whole life attracts dog hair to nobody's end. So there we go keeping this in my Katie makes bags which also attracts a lot of dog hair but I think um Audrey has been sleeping on this a lot so and that will explain that the only other thing I've really been working on is a pair of vanilla socks I am knitting just a pair of regular old vanilla socks out of this sock blank that I got at Stitches Midwest in 
2016. Colonel Mustard. I have no idea who dyed this. I know I have the tag somewhere. If you go back far enough into the archives, then I'm sure you can find it. But yeah, just a plain blank sock. This is kind of what I was working on um, at Yarn Centric, like when I had a chance to knit or during Amy's talk. So not a ton of work has been done to it, but I'm past the heel now. So we're in the home stretch. I did the leg a little bit shorter than I usually do. So it's not a shorty sock. It's sort of like a midi sock for spring, summer, early fallish times. And that's living in my maple and thread fancy bag. And that's it. That's what I've been working on. No spinning. Although I did sign up for a tour de fleece team with Tashi and I'm so excited. I want to, my goal for tour de fleece is to spin my advents. I got two, well, I made one and I got one last year and I spun two days of not even mine. So my goal is to spin my advents. If I can spin that, I have a whole bin down here of fiber that I would like to get maybe one braid done. I think that's doable. I think if I can spin for like 20 minutes in the morning every day, I will consider that great. That's my goal. That's what I would like to do. We'll see if that happens. I have no idea. Okay, this now is um, kind of like what I've gotten recently and life things. So if you were just here to see what I've been working on, thank you so much for stopping by. And um, let's continue on. I went to Yarn Centric in Connecticut Sheep and Wool, and I only got one skein of yarn at both things. Connecticut Sheep and Wool, I bought two plants. Well, I bought one plant and then I was given another plant because he was very sad. I got a matter plant and a Japanese indigo plant. I'm so excited. I figure now that like we're working on the garden and planning the garden, why not start a little mini dye garden? Not to like, I don't know if it's like a thing I'm going to be doing for the shop, but I figure like it'd be fun to experiment with for personal fun times. May, like maybe every so often throw a couple skeins up there but like it's not going to be something that I'm doing all the time for the shop it's just more of a like for me situation so I did get a matter plant and an indigo plant but it was the last indigo and he had like three leaves so she was like just give him a good home so we're gonna try and give him a good home and that was Connecticut Jeep and Wool it was beautiful out it was lovely thank you to everybody who came and stopped by and said hello and showed me projects it was so much nicer than last year. Last year was just muddy and cold and windy and rainy. And then this year, yarn centric was Thursday and Friday night. It was so hot both days. So even more, thank you for coming out in that heat and shopping yarn and showing me projects. Yarn centric, I did get the uh, La Vienna May bag. You know, I love a good bag. And I did get a skein of fangirl fibers in her DK way. I wasn't sure there was a name for it in the casino colorway. But come on, how could I not do this? I have no idea what it's going to be. I'm thinking maybe something for Jake just because of the name. But we'll see if it ends up going into a sweater for me, then it ends up going into a colorwork sweater for me. That's it sometimes it happens. And these are gifties, so I can't show you those. So that's what I got at Yarn Centric. It, again, it was so much fun. It was so fun to meet everybody and see everybody and like talk with the vendors and do the hangout on Thursday night. It's lovely. So Saturday, Jocelyn and I went to Maryland Sheep and Wool and I didn't get a single bit of yarn. I did get um, some clay elephant stitch markers that I gave to my mom as a thank you for watching the dogs for me. And I got more plants. <laughs> uh, so I picked up, I will try and find the name of the vendor. She didn't put her email. She didn't put her email on the tags, but she had a little four plaque of like dye slash eco plants. So I got one of those and it's got Tango Cosmos, Black Knight Scablosa, Gabosia, Gabosia. 
scabosa. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it. And then um, Prescaria Tintoria. I have no idea if I'm saying it is right. So I got two of those. I'm so excited for those. They're going to go in the dye garden. I did end up picking up another Japanese indigo that it has a little bit, you know, is a little older. So my little three leaf baby has somebody to look up to. And then I got, um, I got the two plant, oh, well, I got the dye plants in one of the main, main barns. Well, in the main barn with like vendors. And then I got the other two plants at the greenhouse. Sorry, there's like a bird right in my window. <laughs> um, the first greenhouse is left when you walk into the fairground. So I got the indigo there and she was lovely. And then I got a fish pepper plant. I've never heard of fish pepper before. I'm reading this off of the wiki. Small chili pepper of an heirloom, heirloom variety developed and preserved by African American communities in the Chesapeake Bay area. The plant has variegated foliage and its peppers range from white with dark white with green streaks to a dark red color. I've never heard of this pepper before, so I'm very excited to try a new to me pepper. So yeah, I, a big plant haul, big plant haul. I, my veggie, my, my little seedlings are doing great. So I'm excited to add these guys to it and have a little corner of the garden be for a dye garden. I'm just, I'm ready. If it would only just stop raining long enough for us to build a fence and till the ground, but we, I can't plan anything until after Memorial Day weekend anyway, so I do have plenty of time for that. So yeah, that, yeah. That, oh, I also got this. That's what I got at Maryland Sheep and Wool and Yarn, Yarn Centric, Connecticut Sheep and Wool and that. And then right before that, Joanne's had a little cheeky little pattern sale. So I picked up the McCall 7974. I saw somebody, somebody posted this on Instagram in like this beautiful burgundy wine, like linen fabric. And, you know, I, I will spend the dollar 37 or whatever it was when these are on sale to pick up the pattern. I think they did a B. And I, but I'm really liking this, this, this sleeve it's hitting, it's hitting some buttons. So yeah, I have to go through my fabric stash and see if I have anything to make this, but I think this would be really cute. I am kind of getting a sewing bug. I did get some fabric for my curtains and drapes for the bedroom. So the sewing bug has hit, but sewing 37 years of just straight seams is not, not it. It's not very gratifying to sew rectangles but that's that that's yeah and that's all that's all i have for you i have not really been reading that much so no updates on that haven't really been watching anything no updates on that but i'm excited to get back into the swing of things now that the like show prep insanity is over for now so yeah if you want to see more videos like this feel free to subscribe i put out videos three times a month Thank you so much for watching us here, supporting us through the shop and through Patreon. If you want to see an extra video a week, head over to our Patreon. You get behind the scenes, weekly chats, extra goodies, early access. I don't know what I have over there anymore. I, I'm still getting back in the work swing. And yeah, thank you so much for following us here and everywhere else. And I will talk to you guys on the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>